Well, on the worst weekend of yard sailing in the Delaware Valley, this is two years in a row, it just flat out sucks. At least I'm selling things, and we can do a what's old on eBay. So here we go. Latest right off the bat before I went out to waste gas. Motorola full price camera. Motorola camera, that is. Full price at 89 and change. Very nice. Also, look at this. Another ticket stub. Matter of fact, two ticket stubs. One was the Detroit game, and I forget who the other one was, but they both, one was 50 and one was full price of $29. Ticket stubs, geez. I wish I could find some more. They are little gold and silver bars. Ticket stubs, look for them. Especially football. New camera we're trying out here. There's Barbies, somebody already went through my hot wheels. That thing. That's cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Tools. There's one through all that is that Kennedy. It is a Kennedy. Okay, nothing. Leaving there. At least I sold some golf clubs. And Moon and Stars, double shot. Sold them both together, 24, full price. Glass insulators, I put up some of my damaged ones and damn if they didn't sell. So, uh, full price on both of them, I believe. The, the Mickey Mouse here one I might have accepted. I'm not sure, I forget, I'd have to relook. But they both sold and they sold for okay money, so. I'm going to start listing some glass insulators because uh, I have hundreds, as everybody knows, that watches me. A high-end uh, die-cast toy. I don't know who makes this because I'm too lazy to go back and look. But it did receive 80 bucks. I bought this in the spring, two of these, and both of them sold. Uh, look at the pictures and... Uh, if you ever see them out there, they're worth grab. This was a really nice uh, sale. This is an old vintage Black & Decker drill, but this thing was cherry, and it got full price at 99 bucks. I uh, wanted to keep this, actually. It was so cool, because it was all original, and like minty, minty. Selling my childhood, up next is the G.I. Joe Jeep. We beat the hell out of these. And I still got in played with parts or repair over 40 bucks. Not bad. This sat in the garage when we were kids, out in the weather, everything else. But it held up. Good old American plastic. That was. St. John's Red Storm, 17 bucks. Later, it's out the door. And the Thinker. Um this was from one of my greatest picks of all time and I grabbed it and thought about it and let it sit for a while I listed it and about a couple months later it went and it did sell and I think it was promoted I'm not sure I'm starting to promote things that sit I don't like promoting uh, I know everybody says you but you have to well <laughs> I don't have to do anything because I sell unique items <laughs> Now I'm actually starting to promote stuff. And uh, some of it's going out the door. I don't like giving 25% of my profit to eBay, but stuff happens. I like glass. I like old bottles. These two went full price. They're little milk bottles I sat on for probably a year. List them, forgot about them, but they did eventually sell, and that's cool. Also, this is the Bumblebee throwback Pittsburgh Steelers. This is the uh, Browns jersey. He uh, he did sell eventually, and I got full price, so not bad. Odell Beckham Jr. This was kid size. I think it was a small, and it did sell. Bought it for a buck at a yard sale. 
I've sold two of his shirts, both of them New York Giant ones, by the way. New York Giants, uh, when you can get their stuff, it will sell. Popular. Maybe all NFL teams are popular, but it seems like Giants go quick. Speaking of NFL, this little Eagles mug, this is another yard sale dollar buy, and it goes for that price right there. It's, it's profit. I mean, you're going to make, you sell 30 of them, you're going to make some money. <laughs> but when you mix it in with everything else, it's nickel and dime, quarter, dollar, dollar, you know. You do eventually, if you're making money, you're making money, you know. Three digital watches that untested threw them in a box together and they sold I think that might have been promoted also they've been sitting now I buy watches when I can get them for a dollar and two dollars and I lot them up or get lucky I've never made a killing on watches but I do sell them Gonzalez jersey this one came in a bag of jerseys from the mule he knows who he is <laughs> He's cleaned out his closet. He says, here, you want to sell these? I said, you're stinking A right I do. So, I've sold two jerseys out of there so far. The bag of gold, we'll call it. The old brown jug. Ain't what it used to be, but it did give me $85, that's for sure. Uh, stoneware, antique stoneware, especially when it's got writing on it. You know, the old blue uh, writing on the gray ones. Big money big money this one had nothing on it but it was the old brown jug another set of clubs not a set but uh two old vintage woods they sold uh i could be selling clubs until i die i've got so many of them still from the golf club score of the century um sienna saints i think that's how you say it that had sold the San Francisco 49ers, that hat sold. The Oregon Ducks, I've sold two of these hats. This is the second one that I sold there, pretty hot. They sell easily. And let's round this off with the Dan Barry Mint station wagon. This would have been a good one, but two flat tires and missing parts, so it had to go as parts are repaired. That's it for sales. Now, hopefully, I hit that one yard, which I don't think I'm going to hit anything today. We shall see. Stay tuned. Enough. Toolboxes. Toolboxes and some tools. This is rough. They're killers. Are you the mommy? Thank you. Will I find anything today? It says... Definitely. That's good. An old vintage. You know what that is. The water bottle. Well, that was exciting, and it also takes a same to sale overtime. Bad. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Uh, but the eight ball said I would definitely find something, so let's see what happens. setting that this place has been picked coming in for scrap I picked up uh ozzy and a nirvana shirt uh i don't know we'll see buck a piece stellar stuff look at that stellar is that stellar no that's not that is oh you have a corgi 25 hours that's all signed that's a shame there's no authenticity. Well, today pretty much stunk, but sales were good the last week and a half. So for me, they were. Um, and that's it. I'm going to drop off the packages and uh, call it a day. Unless something pops up tomorrow or Monday. Well, Monday I'm working. So, But if something pops up later today, you'll be the first to know. Harry Homestone with you. Till the next time I say, later.